Hello everyone, it's your boy, Josh, uh, here with another update for Patreon and YouTube and anybody who's watching. This is just a, a quick personal update. I've been doing more of these than ever before lately, but uh, that's because I have personal issues to work through. So uh, you can skip this if you're not interested in that, um, <laughs> and I'll post some other fun, dumb stuff somewhere else. But uh, just a couple of, of, of updates uh, I just want to remind you also um, that I have, in my quest to make things as complicated as possible, I actually have two Patreon uh, campaigns, pages, accounts. Um, you can have, you're not really supposed to have two, but the trick, if you're wondering if anybody wants to do this, is that um, you, you, can, you can have completely, two completely different pages with different email addresses. You can't have two campaigns on the same account. And if you have a Gmail email account, you can actually create uh, iterations of that email by putting a dot in your username. So I'm, I, I guess I'm, I'm doxing my email here. I'm joshway at gmail. Um, and if you do josh.way, which I have done, that uh, those emails will deliver to my Gmail account as normal. Google doesn't care about that extra period, but Patreon does. So it counts as a different email address. So that's how I have two Patreons. And to recap quickly from before, the reason I have two Patreons is because I set up my original Fun With Shorts Patreon as a per-post pledge. So you, you pledge to give a certain amount of money per post, and then you can cap it. And um, that, at the time, I did the calculation, and it made more sense than I, I would make more revenue doing that. But what it means is that I have to post a certain amount of stuff. Anyway, all that is to say, I have a, a per-post Patreon, where you, the one difference there is you will get exclusive episodes of Fun with Shorts. Over on the other one, it's just a general drop me a nickel and uh, to support what I do. And um, I'll put both of those URLs in the description, and I'll, I'll mark one as the per post and one as the monthly. That's confusing. I would eventually like to transition over, but I have so many longtime patrons who are at the per post. I don't want to lose them. I'm not going to stop posting per post anytime soon. And I want to keep, you know, I don't want to lose everybody and start anew because it'll be paltry. And I'm at a moment now when uh, Patreon has become really important. It is a source of income. It's not a huge one. It's not, a, it's not enough to be a full-time job, but it's something. It, hel it pays a couple of bills. So um, I'm going to keep it going. And I just wanted to give uh, you guys Lots of options, okay? All right, I talked about that way longer than I expected to. So uh, here's, I guess, the big update. I found not one, but two jobs. And that sounds great, right? End of search? No, not really. Uh, it's not fantastic. Uh, you're looking at seasonal mall employee. Retail. Um, I'm not going to say where I got these two jobs. They're two jobs in the same mall, my local mall. And they're, as of now, they're just seasonal, you know, for the holidays, October through December. Uh, my job search continues. I still hope to find the, the big one, the actual job that I'm going to do, but it's proven very difficult. I still cannot file for unemployment because of issues there. I was cleared um, of the, uh, the fraud that had been perpetrated on my account by an investigator, but then they pass it on to an agent and then you're going to hear from them soon. And that was two weeks ago. And uh, I still am unable to initiate a claim for unemployment. So the, I need a job. I got two. The pay is insultingly low. Uh, even at my previous job, it was a less than competitive salary, but it, it had benefits and it was you know, I, I was doing okay relative to the place that I worked. Um, but now I definitely need to go up from there. And this is a market, this is an insultingly low rate of pay uh, at these places where I'm, I'm going to be working, but it's something and it's two of them. And so I'll get as many hours as I can. You know, I'm pushing, uh, you know, a certain uh, half century mark in my age. And it's been a long time since I worked retail. I did so um, you know, I worked at, at this job in, in, in the university in marketing for 25 years, exactly 25 years, and then they shut down. So it's been that long since I worked retail. I used to work in the Disney store in the 90s. I've worked at a couple of grocery stores, things like that. And I feel a lot has changed. And I have to say, um, the pay is unacceptable long term. So it's not like I'm going to become a retail guy. But just in terms of the work, 
after 25 years in a uh, kind of office setting and no 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 shade on my coworkers. I worked with a lot of wonderful people and uh, we enjoyed the work that we did. But it's very stressful to be in a private institutional environment where the leadership is changing a lot and the vision casting is constantly going on and you're constantly changing gears. And, and because we were a private institution recruiting students in an educational environment, there was constant pressure about the numbers are not high enough. We've got to get those numbers up. So the idea of going to a shift at a certain department store or a certain luxury uh, toy store um, and just kind of being among the people and the, the products and just getting a job done and being in the mall and taking a break in the food court. It's weirdly, that sounds weirdly relaxing and fun for me. Not forever, for a, for a season, for the next couple months. That sounds weirdly, I'm, I'm not excited about it, but I am very happy. I have, I've, you know, I've since connected with some of my friends who uh, are also looking for jobs, have been looking for jobs longer than I have. Uh, with absolutely no success, and we kind of bonded over that. The, this uh, thinking of one particular friend who cannot even get a, a bite on a retail job like this. Um, so I feel very fortunate that I landed uh, two of them. One of them is not actually official, so I probably shouldn't jinx it by talking about it. One of them is official, and I start next week. The other one seems like a likely uh, shoe in, but we'll see. I guess pride comes before the mall fall. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing, guys. It's something, it still puts me in a kind of dire position. It's not enough to um, make ends meet. Uh, I think I've mentioned before, my wife is a tenured school teacher in the public school system here in New York. She's doing very well. She, does, she makes a lot more than me. But we live in a very expensive county. So e we needed both of our incomes to just make it every month. And we're, we're still falling short. The, the possibility of selling the house and downgrading our life is is very real it's 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 uh being considered at present so um that's okay this isn't a sob story they're just telling you what's going on we will of course ultimately be fine i also was able to connect with some local um, people here in the county where i live um, whose job it is to help people find work because i'm having this problem where uh, i don't want to get into the details of it but i'm having trouble finding work and it has to do with uh, my experience and credentials of, of you know, having worked the same job for 25 years and then thinking that 25 years experience in marketing was going to be uh, like an like a advantage. And it turns out it's not because A, it makes me sound too old and B, uh, I've worked on the same website for 25 years. I don't have a huge portfolio of up-to-date sexy things. Um, so uh, those are my challenges. But also nobody i think this is a this is a, a post covid reality nobody will talk to you in person about a job offices and retail and everything they're like oh go on our website and click careers you go into some algorithm where you upload your information and i i got an automated like rejection within 10 minutes when i applied to barnes and noble i never i went into the store and tried to talk to the nice people i know who who run that store locally here and they were like go home click on careers and and the same thing with with uh, the big jobs the real jobs the graphic design the web development and that stuff i can't make a relationship with a person and so for the first time uh these nice people at this this career center locally here actually you know are talking to me and i have an appointment this afternoon to actually like speak to them about my experience and get some help actually placing me in local jobs. So finally, I also just want to reiterate uh, that I am available um, and offer all kinds of creative services. I can draw commissions, illustrations, portraits, album covers, uh, upsetting religious tracts. I can draw things for you. I can build a website for you. I can provide a voiceover if you need that. I have a website, uh, joshway.com. It's thrown together. I'm going to try and make it a little nicer so that it can be something of a portfolio. But it at least has a page now that lists out the things that I can do and my rates. And I've already gotten a couple bites, a few uh, art commissions and a couple of website jobs, which is great. So I invite you to come. I also want to highlight one thing that I might have mentioned before, but I want to, I want to play this up. Not only can I make a custom drawing or design for you, but through my Etsy shop, I 
can put that on products and merchandise for you. So if you want a custom t-shirt, if you want your dog on a t-shirt or your band on a t-shirt or something, I can create a custom design and then I can create a product that's just for you and you can buy one or as many as you need of those products. I've done it a couple times now and people uh, have really enjoyed the results. So that is something you can contact me. I already doxed myself in this uh, in this video, or you can go to my website and drop me a note that way, and we can get it started. So uh, that's it. I hope these are not seeming whiny, and maybe you don't care. It, it, you know, it's so. Um, I'm working on another video currently where I just talk about my weird relationship with YouTube now that I'm doing on camera more often and the things that kind of like I don't get about YouTube or that my pet peeves about YouTube. You know, I've been on this platform for a very long time, but I, I, I only pumped out fun with shorts for most of those years. And it's a scripted, you know, I'm not on camera. It, it is what it is. The idea that I would talk face to face with my uh, pals and subscribers and patrons is, is a recently new thing. I've wanted to get uh, my face on here. I especially wanted to get the art on here, and I've started to do that. I know not everybody prefers those sketchy videos. I know Fun With Shorts is still the number one thing I'm known for here, and I'm not going to stop that anytime soon. But um, I thank you for listening to me. I think this video is already too long, so I'm going to say goodbye, and I'll talk to you again very soon. Josh out.